so uh, today we are going to talk about send log data extension how we can use send log data extension and uh, the purpose of those okay so send log data extension or the data extension available in the account which can be created from a send log template send log data extension records the real time information of the email sends uh, as we go here okay so send log data extension can store the subscriber specific data for example some send log data extension can store job ids of the email sent list id that means the id of the list to which the email was sent to the batch id the subscriber id the triggered send id and the error code so uh, send log data extension stores data of guided send ab test send test send and user initiated send okay so here we have the send log data extension in front of me which is available in my account okay here you can see it contains job id list id batch id and subscriber id the interesting thing to see here is it contains subscriber id but not the email address or the subscriber key okay so uh, here to get the email address or the subscriber key of let's say a particular subscriber or of all of or all of these subscribers we can query this send log data extension against a data view let's say underscore subscriber data view we can join both subscriber id in this data extension and email address in that data extension and can create another data extension which will have both subscriber id and the uh, relevant email address or the subscriber key okay so let's go here i'll first show you how we can create a send log data extension we, we need to go here into the data extension tab okay we click here in on the create we choose standard data extension because it's a standard data extension here we click on choose a create from template okay here you can see the templates available in your marketing cloud account okay so here you can see there is a sign log template okay? we need to choose this template if this template is not available in the data extension templates please create a say a case with support team they will have it enabled for you from their end or get in touch with your account executive okay we need to choose this okay so uh we do not uh let's just uh, go ahead okay so uh these are the default fields that a send log data extension has job id list id batch id subscriber id triggered send id and error code there's nothing else you need to do at this point you will just click on create and the data extension will be available in your account which will store the data of all the email sends in real time okay just like uh, the data extension i have here okay now i'm gonna show you how you can enable or disable the uh, data store which, which gets stored in the send log data extension as i told you we can the guided send and test send and user initiated send the data of all these sends get stored in, into this data extension let's go into a user initi initiated send okay So when we create a user initiated send definition we go here we click on create okay. okay when we create the user initiated send definition you can see there is a checkbox which says enable send logging to this to a data extension if it is checked only then the data of the email send will get stored into that send log data extension if it's not checked it will not get recorded into that data extension okay so uh, just like that you can also do the do that for guided send i'll show you how let's say this is a test email that i have in my account i go perform a send into of this email just write a test email. okay i go select an audience okay the configure delivery third step you can see there is a checkbox which says retain send log data if it's checked the data of the email sent will get stored into the data extension otherwise it's not okay, okay. 
so uh, as i told you the data of email sent of the guided sent user initiated sent ab testing and triggered sent get stored into the send log but for test sent the data that does not get stored into the send log data extension that's it for now thank you have a good day if you have any question please post in the comments and i'll be happy to reply bye bye